All right, guys, last day of notes for the year. Unit 13, day three. Today we're going to factor trinomials. Uh, we're going to do this using something we call on foil. So remember from class today, we're going to break this down into two binomials because um, we're kind of doing the opposite of foil. What, what are we multiplying here? What two binomials multiplied here will give me this trinomial. And remember, it's going to be x and x to start because we know that x times x gives us x squared. Um, and then we're going to ask ourselves, okay, we're trying to multiply to a positive 16. What two numbers will multiply to give us a positive 16? But when we add them together, we get a positive 10. So we're trying to multiply to a positive 16, but add up to a positive 10. First thing I notice is, hey, they're both positives. The only way I can get my answers here, if my answers are both positives, because a positive times a positive is a positive, and a positive plus a positive is a positive. So I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I could try 1 and 16. 1 times 16 gives me 16, but is 1 plus 16 10? No. Um, so 1 and 16 does not work. Uh, what if I tried uh, 4 and 4? Four? 4 times 4 gives me 16, but 4 plus 4 does not give me 10, so that didn't work here as well. Um, the only other one that I could try is uh, 2 and 8. 2 times 8 is 16, that works, and 2 plus 8 is 10, so that one works. So I know that x plus 2 and x plus 8 will give me my answer. All right, guys, for practice problem number 14, it's a, it's a little different uh, than 13. Um, so um, first thing I do is, is set myself up and I put down my two parentheses and I really like um, what Mr. Gallant does and he puts a plus symbol on the second term and he puts a multiplication symbol on the last term to remind me that what I'm essentially doing is I'm multiplying two numbers together to get three but I'm going to add them up to get a negative four this time. All right. Um, we always start off with the same term. It's going to be x and x. But then the question is, um, is it going to be plus plus or plus minus or minus minus? That's where these uh, help us out, okay? Um, since I know that it's going to be a plus 3, it's a positive 3 to multiply, I know the signs are going to be the same. So it's either going to be plus plus or minus minus. What this tells me right here is that it's going to be minus minus because when I add them up, it has to be a negative. So my signs are the same because it's a positive 3, and they're both negative because I'm going to add up to a negative 4. Now, this is pretty simple because the only two numbers that you can multiply together to get 3 are 1 and 3, and when I add those up, I am going to get a negative 4. All right, and we'll do one more for you. Number 17 here. <clears throat> um, this is the first one we've shown you with a negative at the end here. And we know that the only way to multiply to a negative number is if my signs are going to be different. So remember, we're trying to add up to a positive 4, and we're trying to multiply up to a negative 12. So we have x, and we have x. We just said our signs are opposites because that's the only way if we multiply a positive and a negative, we'll get a negative number here. So we're trying to add or multiply up to a negative 12, but we want our two numbers to add up to a positive 4. So I'm thinking here, um, I know that I want my, my bigger number to be positive because the rules from day one of this entire school year were when we're adding integers and we're adding up, if we get a positive answer, our bigger number must have been positive. So we want our bigger number to go here. So I'm trying to think, what numbers multiply to give me 12? Well, I could do 12 and 1. I could try 2 and 6. And 6 times 2 is 12, and if I do a positive 6 and a negative 2, if I add those two together, that gives me my positive 4 that I wanted, so I've got a positive 6 and a negative 2. x plus 6 times the quantity x minus 2.